Mathematics is fun when you use mathematics in everyday life. The only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Hi, I'm Teacher Sylvia. I'm here to guide you in visualizing our today's lesson 101 to 500. Enjoy listening, kids. Bring out your notebook and your pencil for you to jot down notes for the important lesson that you will learn for today. When you were in grade 1, you learned numbers 1 to 100. Now that you are in grade 2, you will learn to visualize and understand numbers 101 to 1000. You will answer the activity that will be given to you which will measure your understanding about our lesson. Before we will continue, let us sing a song. One, two, three, mathematics is fun. Four, five, six, mathematics exciting. Seven, eight, nine, mathematics is learning. Then use mathematics in everyday life. One, two, three, mathematics is fun. Four, five, six, mathematics is learning. Seven, eight, nine, mathematics is exciting. Then use mathematics in everyday life. Continue with our lesson, let's learn about mathematical words and materials that will help us understand our lesson for today. So we have three materials used to visualize and represent numbers. Number one is multi-base arithmetic blocks. Number two, straws that are grouped in piece and bundles. And then we have money that is coins and bills. Mario, will you explain what is multi-base arithmetic blocks? Yes, ma'am. Multi-base arithmetic blocks are the long which represent the tenths and the flat which represents hundreds. So that is the cube unit, that is the long, and that is the flat. Mom, is that correct? Very good, Mario. That is correct. So again, the ones is represented by the cube unit. The long represent the tens, and then the flat represents hundreds. Cube is represented by ones, and then long represents the tens, and then the flat represents hundreds. One cube unit is equal to one ones. One long is equal to ten ones. So, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. So one long is equal to ten ones. One long is also equal to ten cube units. And then one long is equal to one tens. Well, one flat is equal to one hundreds. It is also equal to ten longs. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One flat is also equal to 100 cube units. And then, one flat is also equal to 10 groups of tens. And then, one flat is also equal to 100 ones. Now we are done with using arithmetic blocks in visualizing numbers. What is the next material that we will use, Mario? We will use tools to visualize numbers, Mom. Okay, very good, Mario. As you can see, there are three groups of straw here. They are colored red, green, and white. Red is red colored straw are greater in number than green colored straw. White colored straws are the lowest number number of straw. The red one represents hundreds, the green represents tens, and then the white represents ones. So which group of straws is higher? Very good, it is the red straw. Which is next? Which is next? Which is higher? It is the green and then next is the white okay very good okay so again mario which is represented by the red straw Hundred, mom. okay very good it is hundreds and the green one is tens, mom. tens okay very good how about the white it is 
great man. Very good, Mario. Now, let us see if you understood our our lesson. We can see bundles of throws in hundred. One, two, three. So, how many throws is the bundles all in all? Three hundred, man. Very good, Mario. You are listening. Now you can see straws that are grouped by tens. I will separate group of straws. Then you will count and give the number that the straws represent, Mario. So how many straws are there? Sixty, man. Very good. What does this straw represent? Wise man. Very good, Mario. Now I will separate straw and afterwards you will say what number does the straw represent. What number does the separated straw represent? Very good, Mario. This time, group of straws that represents hundreds. Tens and ones are joined together. Let us visualize and analyze what do the group of straws represent. How many hundreds are there? Three, man. How many tens? Six tens, man. And how many ones? Eight ones, man. What number does all group of straws represent? Now... The straw shows that there are three groups of hundreds, six tens, and eight ones. So let us analyze and understand how many all in all does the straw represent. So there are three hundred, six tens, and eight ones. So all in all, the straw repre represents a number that is 368. This time we have another group of straws. What does the group of straw represent? How many hundreds are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are 7 hundreds. How many tens? One, two, three, four. There are four tens. And how many ones? One, two, three, four, five. So there are five ones. So again, there are seven hundreds, four tens, and five ones. What number does all straw represent? There are 745. Okay, very good. Now let's go for the another representation of numbers using blocks. So how many groups of hundreds do the block represent? There are one hundred. How about how many tens does the long represent? There are four tens and five ones. Okay, so another group of blocks will represent numbers. How many hundreds do you see? Okay, very good. You have three hundreds. How many tens? Okay, five tens. And how many ones? We have zero ones. Congratulations, you've done a good job. Mathematics is fun when you use mathematical skills in everyday life since learning mathematics is to do mathematics. Again, this is Teacher Sylvia saying goodbye. See you in our next episode. Bye-bye.